Hello there, welcome to Standard Touchy Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the news and categories on your website. So, before moving on to the things, let me tell you how actually your news and categories are going to appear on your site. So, once you visit your website, you'll be seeing the number of menu items there, uh, like news, jobs, today's diary, videos, and all. So, these are the num different categories associated with your website. And when you scroll down, you'll be seeing the number of different images with different titles. Uh, these are the different news items. And when you click on a particular title, it will be taking you to the description of that particular news item, mm -hmm. like this. So now let's move on with adding of these things onto the website. So in order to do all these things, you just need to visit the link uh, hubalitimes.com slash wpadmin. That is actually called as the backend of your website. So once you click on this particular link, it will be taking you to a login page wherein you actually need to provide your credentials and then click on login. Mm -hmm. So once you click on login, it will be redirecting you to your dashboard wherein you actually can edit all the required things. So first of all, let's move on with adding of the news. So in order to add the news, you just need to go to post and then click on add new post option available there. So at our backend side, we'll be referring a news as a post. So whenever I a post, I'll be indirectly referring it to a news. So I hope it is clear. Now let's move on with adding of these things. Just go to post and then click on add new post option available there. So once you click on add new post, it will be taking you to a dashboard like this. You will be seeing an interface like this. So here you actually can provide all the required details about the news like title of the news and then the content that is the body of the news, categories and then you can even provide an image or even you can even add a media like uh, image or video audio whatever you want so now assume i actually want to add this news onto the site so this one so i'll be uh, entering this title there onto this field under the title field and then we'll be adding the body of the post that is actually called as the content of the post like uh, this this one is the body of the post I'll be adding that onto this body field. Later, you actually need to select the category to which you actually want to assign this post to. For example, news or something like post or whatever you can. Okay, you can you want to leave it blank. It's up to you whether you want to select a category or not. So you can even add a new category by clicking on new category option available here, and then provide a name for that, whatever you want. Then click on add new option. This okay, add new category option. So later on, you you don't have to do anything with these options available here. These are default options. So you just leave it like that. Then click on okay. Another thing is that you actually need to provide a featured image for your post. So click on the set featured image option here, wherein you can actually select an image for your post. So there are two ways that you can do this: either by selecting on selecting an already available image on your website, or else by uploading it manually. So if you want to select an image that is already available on your website, you can select any of the available images. Else, if you have an image that you want to upload on your website and that you have on your computer, so click on select files option and then select an image. So once it gets uploaded, you can click on set featured image option available here. So yeah, it got uploaded. Now click on set featured image option so it got uploaded now you actually need to select a category that you want uh, to assign it to i'll slave it blank i'll be selecting it as the news now okay fine so that's all we are done with this and then click uh another thing is that if you want to publish it later for example if you want to schedule this post to be published later you can click on edit and then select a particular date and time that you want it to be published at and click on ok so that's it as of now i want to publish it directly so i'll cancel it and then i'll click on publish okay so once you have clicked on publish your your post is actually got published you can view this post by clicking on this option available here and okay so let's see how actually your post is going to appear so this is how your post is actually going to appear that's what i have added right now so another thing is that you can uh, even edit the previously added posts by clicking on all post option available here. So once you click on all posts, you will be seeing an interface like this. Just go to that particular post that you want to edit and then click on edit option available there. So 
so once you click on add it you just need to update the things right so if you want to delete something you can even delete or if you want to change the category from news to something else you can even select that particular category or else if you want to change the featured image you can even do so so you can update anything you want and then click on update so once you're done you just need to click on update so your post has actually got updated now so another thing is that you if you want to add a new category you can go to this option available here that is categories option uh you just need to go to category option available under the post so once you click on categories option you'll be seeing an interface like this uh wherein you can add a new category if you want to add a new category click on this option and then provide a name for this category like new category or whatever so like this you can leave this field blank or if this category is a subcategory that actually comes under a main category like something news or something whatever so you can even provide a print category for that else you can leave it blank it's up to you so now just click on add new category so so now a category has actually got added here if you want to assign a uh, number of posts to this category then click on this option count option available here and then select number of posts which you want to assign to this category then click on update so that's all about how you can add the categories and posts so now, now let's move on with how you can edit the sidebar options okay these are the things okay, all these things how you can edit this thing so in order to edit these things you just need to go to appearance then click on widgets option available here so once you click on widgets you'll be seeing an interface like this so the things what are appearing here are the things appearing from this block so the first thing here is search search bar so the first thing here is search bar as well so if you want to bring the search bar below this twitter or facebook bar block you just need to go to post and then drag and drop this search bar wherever you want okay right now i'll be placing it just below the facebook block so i have placed it just go and reload this page so that you'll get to know how actually things work out once i have reloaded the page so you can see that the twitter block is on the first second one is the facebook and third one is the search actually i have placed the search block on to the third so you can even edit anything you want from here so that's all about how you can edit the post categories and also the sidebar of your website i hope the things are clear if you have any more further queries just let us know we'll be happy to assist you thank you